this is how to run the new exploit on a PSP 3000 version 6.20 so this is just showing you I will show you how to put the files on your memory stick for the next video this one's just showing you how to work it um, as you can see I'm on version 6.20 so just exit out of that I don't even know what you can exactly do with that MAC address either. But. So this is what the menu should look like after you put everything on there. You should have the, the actual demo, the Prometheus ISO loader, and then the actual exploit. So you just run the demo. this menu hit no. Sorry I'm doing this without. Yes. <clears throat> doing this with just one hand so that's why it's kind of hard. At this point it'll already be on continue so just hit X. Here's the save. Make sure it says Wolo will those return enter load it says press any button so press any button now at this screen after it loads all you gotta do is just hit the R button now you will come to this menu Scroll down. For me, it's just once. Once it's highlighted on hen, press X. Okay. Now, this is the best way I can recommend it. Um, now, this is all normal. Now I'm just going to take out the memory stick. So memory stick is out. Hit select. Now this is very important otherwise it'll just crash. And scroll down to where it says restart VSH. Hit X. Obviously, I don't have a UMD inside. Oh, wait, don't fail. Okay, it's in there. But let's pull it out real quick. I always have mine to where it says auto start UMD, pick no. It's, it's tacking, as you can see. So once that's restarted, then you can go ahead and put that back in. Scroll down back to memory stick. And hit X for the ISO loader. Now if you don't do that last step, then what, what'll happen is it'll crash. Okay, now here, here's your list of your ISOs that you want to have for your backups. Um, for this example, um, I will use God of War. Let's press X. And there it is. As you can see, there's there's no UMD empty. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like I said, I will have a video showing you where to put all the files on the memory stick 
and like I said that crucial step is going through the VSH menu and hitting restart otherwise your PSP will constantly crash and it took me quite a while to figure that part out because not a lot of people tell you to do that but anyways thanks for watching don't forget to thumbs up this video and always subscribe